Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First, the TBI has been asked to investigate a police beating in Red Bank. 24-year-old Candido Medina Resendez was beaten during a traffic stop in April. He was punched in the head seven times and left with a fractured eye socket, among other injuries. Since then, the officer involved, Mark Kaler, has been commended for his actions. But District Attorney Neil Pinkston is sending the case back to a grand jury because despite a subpoena, prosecutors never received video of the beating from police. Now the TBI will investigate the arrest and look into why the video wasn't made available during court proceedings. Chattanooga police are investigating a possible hate crime. A man says four people attacked him at the same time, yelling anti-gay slurs and striking him in the face with a gun. It reportedly happened around 2 a.m. September 21st on Dodson Avenue. Police haven't identified the victim, but the victim identified three of the suspects and warrants have been issued. The investigation is ongoing. The cyclist who stopped to help Taylor Finney after he crashed on Lookout Mountain is being honored. Lucas User was following Finney during the Cycling Pro Championships on Memorial Day when the two crashed and Finney was seriously injured. Rather than grab a new bike and continue, User stayed with Finney to keep him calm until help arrived. Tonight, the U.S. Olympic Committee is awarding User the Jack Kelly Fair Play Award in Chicago. An investigation is underway after several Signal Mountain residents have reported their mail missing. Residents on Coral Road say bank statements, checks, and bills have disappeared, but the junk mail remains. Several have halted their mail, and one neighbor has put his mailbox under surveillance. Two area counties have ranked as the most affordable places to live in the United States. Jackson County, Alabama and Chattooga County, Georgia offer the best values according to data company RealtyTrack. The firm studied the percentage of income required to make monthly house payments on the average home in each area. Now, you may have to travel a couple dozen miles for work, but if you're up for it, this four-bedroom home in Bridgeport is listed for around $99,000, and this three-bedroom Somerville home can be yours for less than $27,000. Two locals have been arrested on child pornography charges. In Cleveland, 28-year-old Eric Shazesh has been sentenced to around four years in prison for distributing child porn. Shazesh was arrested after authorities found him texting pictures of children walking to school and discussing abusing kids. Hundreds of illegal photos were found on his phone. And in Jackson County, Alabama, 21-year-old Matthew John Westlake has been charged with 27 counts of child porn possession. He's awaiting a preliminary hearing. Finally, a new park has opened just off Highway 41 in Ringgold. Joseph T. McConnell Park celebrated its grand opening Thursday. Both the pavilion and the whole park are available to rent. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 84 degrees. The low tonight will be around 62. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.